Sometimes you need your customers to have an option to send you questions about the product. And in this case, you need a contact form on your single product page, like the one you see on the screen right now. Open and close, fill the field, send the message and done. But not only that, maybe you would like to add a calculator, for example, measurement price calculator, renovation cost calculator, or whatever it is, for example, like the one you see right now. I can calculate everything, I can even add it to the cart and pay for it using WooCommerce payment gateways. Whether it's this or that, in this video I'm going to show you how to add basically anything on your WooCommerce single product page. Long story short, I'm going to give you a small code snippet that allows you to add a button with a contact form on your site. Take a look at the description of this video, there is a link to the blog post that contains a snippet. But in order to add the snippet to the site, you have two options. First is that you need to add it to your child team's functions PHP file. But there is also a second way, the one I prefer, that is go to the plugins, add new plugin and search for a plugin called Code Snippets, this one here. Install and activate it and after that you'll see a snippets menu down below here. You can add all sorts of code snippets to your site and you don't have to worry whether the code work after the team update. So, go to the snippets, add new, give it the title, for example, contact form on single product page. Now paste the snippet and a couple of things for you to know. First, there is a button here. Just replace this text here. Ask a question about the product. It's a text displayed here. Next, here goes the short code. I'm using the fluent forms and this is a short code from the form itself. Third, the same text that is up here goes also here and here. Now if everything is done, just choose only run on site front end, save changes and activate. And one more thing, this is a form I'm going to display. I need to display name, email, phone number, message, but I also need to know what product is the one they are talking about. So I'm going to add a field, which is hidden field. I'm going to give it the title, that is product title and default value is embedded post page title. Now I'm going to add another hidden field and this time I'm going to name it as URL and default value is embedded URL. Save form, save form and go to the single product page. This is the button here. I'm going to refresh it. Let's test it. I'm going to demonstrate how does the email looks like. Let's send it. Confirmation. And this is the message product title with URL and the message. Easy peasy, isn't it? But now let's add something else to the single product page. For example, let's add a calculator. This time I'm going to change the button name, calculator renovation cost. I'm going to paste the same here and here. And I need to add a calculator. This time I'm going to use a plugin called cost calculator. This one here, I already created five calculators. And this is an awesome plugin which allows you to create all sorts of calculators with a couple of clicks. It has a free version, the one you see on the screen right now. Currently more than 30,000 active installations, good ratings, recently updated, and it allows you to create cost calculators. There is also a pro version, and you can see what is the difference between pro and the free version here. Just take a look at this one here. The pro version costs $49 per year for one site and there is also an unlimited sites license, it's $299 per year. There is also a lifetime plan, as you see for one site license it's $169 and $799 for unlimited sites. These are the official prices, but if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. Just follow the link and you're good to go. Now let's go back to the calculators. I have made a separate video about how to create those, but it's fairly easy. Just click on create new, choose from the template or create blank one, add your fields, set values, save it and done. In order to keep it short, I'm not going to go into details, but since I have already created a Toro tutorial about how to use the plugin, I'm going to put the link to this video also in the video description. Now. I'm going to grab the short code, that is, I'm going to click on this embed button here, insert manually, 
copy the short code back to the snippet and now this time I'm gonna replace this shortcut here. Save changes. Let's refresh the page. And what do you know? There is a button. If I click on it, here's my calculator. I can add it to the cart. If I need to add any other, for example, body mass calculator, the same method, just change the short code, save changes, refresh. And here's my body mass index calculator. In a similar way, you can add whatever you like on this single product page. For example, maybe you don't need this button and you need your form to be open by default. Well, let's do that. That is, I'm going to go to the snippets, add new, for example, form two, paste this snippet here, change your short code, choose only run on site front end, save changes and activate. And now if I refresh the page, you'll see that this is open here. Now I forgot to deactivate this snippet, so let's do it, refresh it, and you'll see this is my form here. If I need to add something else, for example, just text or information, then it's also easy to do. I'm gonna use the same snippet, add a text before, change the text, format it as you like. At the moment it's heading two for my site. Let's save it. Now let's refresh it, and here's my heading and the calculator. Now one more thing for you to point out. Currently I'm placing this calculator down below the Add to Cart button, but you can add it wherever you like. The location is defined by this hook here. I'm using the Bloxy team, so this hook comes from the Bloxy team itself, but if you go to the Google and Google Business Bloomer single product hooks, then open up this result. It opens up the page which contains all the WooCommerce default hooks. For example, let's grab this one here. I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to replace this hook with the one I copied. I'm going to save it. Now let's refresh. And you'll see there is no calculator here. But if I scroll down, here's my calculator and my text. I don't like the location. So back to my snippets. And I'm going to replace this one here. Save it refresh it and it's back where I want it to be. Now as you see adding whatever content you would like to add on your single product page is really simple just copy the snippets paste it in the code snippets plugin and you're good to go. Now as I said earlier I have made a separate video about the cost calculator builder plugin. This video is on the screen right now so be sure to take a closer look at it because it's an awesome plugin. In the meantime take care.